Hi everyone there. Are you well? Thank you for coming for yet another lesson of Literacy 1B. Remember last time we were looking at accidents that we can get at school or in class. And we also saw those things that can cause accidents at school and in class. All right? I've come back with the same lesson about accidents at school. Okay? And this is another lesson we are going to look at places where we can get accidents. Sometimes we call them dangerous places at school. We use those places, we should have them at school, but they are dangerous if you're not careful, okay? And here they are. One, the steps, on the steps, or on the stairs. Sometimes when we are at school, I see people running on the stairs, climbing up and re uh, coming down. They are good, but they are very dangerous if you're not careful. You step one step, you might even lose the teeth. So steps are dangerous places. Then look at the toilet. Some people go, they play with the toilet seats, they play with sinks. They end up breaking them. After breaking them, they will get cut. So a toilet is also another dangerous place. Then the kitchen. You know how a kitchen is dangerous? Can get burns and skulls from the kitchen. So some of you who rush to run to the kitchen, who rush to go into the kitchen, be careful, okay? We are going to look at these children who were playing in those dangerous places. And what happened? Watch. Look at that one. What do you think was doing? Was he climbing up or going down? And was he walking or running anyway? I don't think he was running. He was walking. He would be running. He might have been running. And see what happened. He knocked the head. The legs were up. And I knew he started from the first step and went up to the last one. And do you think he survived the bruises? Even the fractures, you never know, you might have gotten the fracture. So, you people avoid playing on the stairs, right? Mm -hmm. That one is the toilet. Mm, see, what do you think happened? This girl went to the toilet. I don't know what happened, but we can see her crying. That means there was something wrong. There was something wrong. For those of you who go in the toilet and you play from there, you never know what might happen from there. So be careful when you go to the toilet. Now, these ones, where are they? In the kitchen. That's the kitchen. The lady there is serving posho hot. And once you make a, st a, a, a mistake and you miss a step, you might end up falling into this saucepan which has sauce. Okay? So be careful. Even here. That is water boiling, this is food, that one is sauce. When you go there and you play with anything, you never know you might get a burn or a scald, okay? So those are some of the dangerous places at school. But even the classroom itself is a dangerous place. You never know, you might be playing on the table, you fall down and you get a fracture inside the class when it's not in the toilet. All right. After learning all those accidents, we are going to look at how we can prevent those accidents. How we can prevent accidents at school or in class. We should learn how to prevent them, okay? One, do not play with electricity. In classes we have sockets, and if people play with sockets, sometimes we find them spoiled and we ask ourselves, who spoiled the sockets? You children who play in classrooms are the ones who spoil the socket. So do not play with electricity. Then two, do not sharpen a pencil for yourself. Do you remember? In class, we are not allowed to, 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 to sharpen pencils for, for, for ourselves. You as children, if you want to sharpen a pencil, go to the teacher because a cutter might cut you, a razor might cut you. So avoid sharpening a pencil by yourself. Avoid running on the steps. That one I've already told you. You run on the steps, you never know what will happen. We should be careful when playing. When playing, we should be very careful. Don't play bad games. Don't play bad 
games. Even kicking itself is a bad game. Might kick your friend and you never know what will happen. Avoid running on the steps. As you see those children are running, as if they are competing, as if they are going to give them prizes for running, but you never know what might happen. So avoid running on the stairs. Just walk, go to class. We should be careful when playing, somebody playing with a knife, you see. I don't know what he's cutting or oh, he's cutting, but that knife might cut him. Avoid playing with electricity. Avoid playing with pencils. We should not play with pencils. We should not play with rulers. We should not play with stones. We should play good games. That's what I had for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Now you, can, you know how to prevent accidents at school. You know them and you know how to control them. Once we put into practice, everything will be okay. We shall not get accidents at school or in class. I wish you the best and may God bless you.